guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently at Megu in the Pearl and I'm here with my best friend Allison. So previously they had a launch for their new menu which I attended and they gave us um, attendees a voucher for dinner or lunch for two. So I've decided to take Allison with me tonight so she can experience the new menu and hopefully she'll enjoy herself. She'll love the orders because I enjoyed their food last time during the launch. Uh, we did quite order a lot of food, so I'll show you that later and we'll give you our feedback towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we just finished our dinner. We had some mochi for dessert. And now I'm just gonna ask Allison what her favorites were. So what do you like most? The crispy asparagus. That was mm -hmm. nice. Rock and roll, sushi, and the salmon. The salmon in cha chan chan style, chan I think. Chan chan style, I think. Yeah, that was good, but I, I had too much to eat, so I couldn't finish everything. <laughs> we did share a lot of it, but still we couldn't manage to finish everything. We had That's good to me. Yeah, we had a lot. We of... just committed a sin. Yeah. So anyway, my favorites, if you were curious, were the ramen for sure. The ramen was okay. I really liked the broth overall, and the chicken that came with the ramen was really tender. It wasn't overcooked. So I enjoyed that, but it's not really one of my top favorites. Of course, my favorite um, main course among the two would definitely be the Wagyu beef. That was awesome. Uh, they had four flavors, but among the four, my favorite was the the one with the um, black sesame, sesame seeds, seeds on top. Yeah, and then for our appetizers, I really like the um, wasabi prawns. Wasabi prawns, right? Yeah. And their rock and roll sushi. Uh, would you recommend it? Honest opinion. Um, I don't know. I'm quite torn. Because they're quite expensive here in Megu. And I don't know. Maybe for special occasions, yes. But for a regular Japanese craving, I don't think so. For me, I'd recommend it uh, because. I've dined here previously based on their old menu. It was much more expensive than their current menu. For now, I think it's a bit... It's just because I can't remember the last time we've been here and I don't remember the price range. But it's still expensive for me. But anyway, the quality is good. I mean, the quality of the food and the servings. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, it is a bit steep compared to other restaurants here honest opinion but I still think it's one of the best that I've had in terms of Japanese so like like what Allison said for regular Japanese cravings yeah maybe this is not the place but for special occasions yeah I'd recommend it yeah so anyway if you're around the Pearl and if you're looking for good food to eat please do check out Megu uh, they're in Porto Arabia someone's feeling a bit hot Hot. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, so anyway, about the service. It was superb. Yes. Uh, we'd like to uh, make a special <laughs> shout out to Emily and Romel for such an amazing um, experience. They're so friendly. And, they keep yeah. suggesting foods to try. They were very accommodating and very courteous and respectful. So, yeah. And uh, by the way, yeah, we didn't wait long for our food to arrive. It, uh, when we placed the order, it took roughly around 15 minutes to reach our tables. Our table. So yeah, it was good. Uh, 
<laughs> we're high on food. But anyway, we had an amazing experience oh, overall. Plus, plus, plus. This is not sponsored by Megu. Yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this is not sponsored by Megu. I'm doing this video out of my own free will. And we're not being paid to do it. That's all. Just a disclaimer. Thank you for watching and sticking out this video with us. So we'll see you again next time. Subscribe. Yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.